Hello everybody, this is a course about logic in computer science. Let's suppose I say I am lying. What do I mean? Am I lying? Let's say if this statement is true, that means my action is that I am lying, which contradicts the truth value of the overall statement. Let's suppose this statement is false, that means this statement should be negated that means I am telling the truth and which again contradicts with the statement to value. Therefore this statement I say I am lying cannot be interpreted in any possible way. You see that a simple situation like this need requires some kind of analysis for clean and clear understanding. That's where logic comes in. We will study situations like this and we will see that how can we effectively reason out this kind of situations and situations like and possibly even more complex situations. So that was a sample on logic. You know, what do you mean by logic? We need to understand in more detail. So what is logic? Have you ever said to someone, be logical? Somebody saying something nonsensical to you and suddenly you decided, well, oh, man, be logical too. This is nonsense. If you have done that, that, that very moment you are applying logic. This is like telling somebody what is time. You can only and give evidence of what is time, but you cannot really, really give a complete definition of time to somebody. Similarly, logic can be understood by people by their innate understanding, but you cannot really explain it from the ground up. This mathematization and formalization of this intuition is called mathematical logic. Once you do that, there are two things you can do the logic. One, you can use the logic to study other things, for example, mathematics, computer science, other sciences. Or you can study the logic itself, which is the topic of this course. You can look at the logic and you say that there's a, there's a certain mathematical structure in it. Let's study it. Let's see the behavior, what we can do with it, what we cannot do with it. An important fact is that to study logic, we need to use logic. I mean, how can you talk about any subject matter without using logic itself? And that is called self-reference problem. Creates a certain kind of a problem and bottlenecks ability to reason about structures of logic. And it will tell us what kind of problems cannot be solved using logic. So you are a computer science student. Why do you care about what is logic and why do you, should you study logic? Recall differential equations in your high school. There you are studying Newtonian physics to understand Newtonian physics. You study differential equations and use them to predict the path of when you throw a ball. Similarly, in computer science, to study computational objects and predict their behavior, we need logic. So therefore we need to uh, learn logic as a CS student. What do we do in logic? In logic in nutshell we derive conclusions from a given set of premises. Here is an example. In this example you have humans which are said to be mortal. The second premise says Socrates is a human and using these two facts together, you can conclude that Socrates is mortal. By looking at this, you can say, oh, I see a pattern here. If I ever say things like that, alphas are beta, gamma is alpha, I can derive that gamma is beta. Many philosophers saw this as a pattern and they said, okay, I'm going to apply this pattern to identify a reasoning is valid or not. Let's see an application of this pattern. Here's an example. 
where you see apostles are 12 and Peter is an apostle. Here you have alphas, betas and you have a gamma, you have an alpha. From this you can conclude that Peter is 12 which is a wrong reasoning clearly and therefore this pattern doesn't work. What went wrong here? What went wrong here is that this statement is talking about the size of the set and this statement here about the property of each element of the set. So English has this problem that the two different kind of statements can be said using a single grammatical structure. So we need a more formal definition of stating sentences and what they mean. The English will not do. We need more formal definition and syntax of logic. So it is very easy to ill-define logic and we will go through a, a formal and rigorous introduction of logic and give its precise meaning to our language and then we will do patterns that match then you're not going to do erroneous reasoning.